Evening folks and welcome to this demonstration of my Casio C Pathfinder SPF10. Now, this is actually quite a modern digital watch from the 21st century I believe, although uh, there was an earlier TSL100 version which was out in the 90s. But this is a later version and uh, the special feature of this watch is this radiant thermo sensor. So that's a device that uh, measures temperature remotely. Uh, so I'm sure you're dying to see how that works, so I shall demonstrate. Um, I've got a couple of things here. I have a, a nice hot cup of coffee and a nice cold glass of gin and tonic. So let's just do a, a quick measure of the coffee. It takes about three seconds for it to take a reading and it beeps to let you know it's done it. So 69 degrees centigrade that is, so obviously it was boiling but it's taken a couple of takes <laughs> to get to this point. And, uh, Let's just show what the uh, the ice and the gin and tonic are measuring. So that's showing one degree centigrade. So that's pretty cold. Uh, and you can see at the top it's saying it's in scan mode and it's telling you the current time. Um, and that's pretty much it for the, the thermo scanner. But it's, it's a very nice, interesting feature. Uh, and if you press this button, it goes back to um, the main time mode. So as you can see from the graphics on there it's also got a couple of other functions. It has a moon phase indicator here, only four segments there, um, and it's also got a tide phase indicator here. Um, and so in this display it's showing it's a half moon and the tide's on its way out, nearly all the way out. Um, and it's got a couple of other modes. So this first mode is a sight mode, so that's telling you the moon phase and what well, should stay the same, but the tide um, state in various different preset locations. So at the moment it's at home, but if I press this button, it's saying Maldives, Mauritius, Bahamas, and as you can see, the tide is a slightly different state in these various different places throughout the world, and uh, and you can. Um, go in and adjust some of these settings of these sites so you can change their location and their names to be somewhere maybe more than meaningful to you and it will tell you the, um, the tide times at those different places. And then if you press the mode button again um, it's into a sort of prediction mode so it's for your home time um, but it's telling you the moon age That's, um, or it's telling you the tide state so moon age and you can advance using this button the moon age and it'll tell you what that what date the moon will be that age or um, for the tide as well you can advance the time and you, you can then see what time it's going to be high or low tide so it's kind of the opposite of the sight mode it's giving you um, it's varying the time rather than the location and showing you what the the state of the tide is there. And finally it's got an alarm mode and um, no stopwatch or countdown timer. Uh, it has got a light, it's an electroluminescent display, see that lit up there, and it's got a special function whereby um, you can turn the light, set the light to come on if you tilt your wrist at a certain angle, so you don't have to press the button. And finally a little word about setting this watch, obviously with a, a tide um, watch. It needs to know whereabouts in the world you are. Um, as I said, the various different sites are preset and you can adjust using the adjust button here um, your own um, your own location. So whether it's daylight saving is on or off, it's currently on where I am. And um, my longitude, I'm pretty much on the nought degrees uh, line. And then this other number here, this 1105, is what's called the um, lunitidal interval. And it's basically um, something that you can look up online um, for your location, what the difference is between the height of the moon and the high tide. Because there's, um, due to the shape of the, the land and the viscosity of the sea, it it's not, doesn't coincide exactly at the high moon and the high tide. So the other adjustment you can do... Um, is for the thermo scanner. So it's just going to do a sort of air measurement there. And if you press the adjust button, 
Um, there's this number here is called emissivity, uh, and it's a measure of how much or the proportion of infrared, infrared radiation is emitted by a particular substance. And by default, the watch is set to 0.95, which is the value for water. And a lot of common uh, non-metallic materials are in that sort of, between that sort of 0.85 and 0.97 range. Metals, however, especially shiny ones, typically have much lower emissivity uh, factors. Um, so I pointed this at a shiny um, steel kettle earlier one that was boiling and it was only showing that it was about 33 degrees centigrade. So this does actually let you um, adjust the emissivity and therefore calibrate the sensor for the material that you're looking at. So if you do want to get a more accurate reading for a, a metallic object it allows you to um, select that, which is great. So that's it, the Casio C Pathfinder successor to the Casio TSR100. This one's got a nice metal bracelet and although the case looks metal it's actually plastic but metal coloured. Uh, although I think this this ring round here is metal. Anyway I hope you enjoy this one and uh, here's a cheers to you. Good night.